All right, in uh, this whole video, uh, we're gonna have a look at a Pisces uh, career and relationship um, experience or reading, so to say, for the week July 20th to 26th, uh, 2020, and just uh, give me a moment to shuffle the cards. And uh, we can pretty much jump into the career reading straight away. So the first one uh, in term of your career Pisces that is going to be the Ten of Cups followed by the next one here which stands as the Hangman. Uh, the third one is going to be the Seven of Pentacles and the last one that we do have for you guys that will be uh, the Seven of Swords. So those, uh, pretty much those four cards, let me spread them in a way you can see them, right? So those four cards. And uh, for what it seems, that, uh, that week itself uh, is going to be uh, quite peaceful in terms of a career progress moving forward. Uh, it will depend really on your personal drive, how much you want to accomplish in terms of a career progress itself. Now, while um, amongst the week or, you know, as, as, as you go through the week, you will feel like, you know, you are ready to settle for what you already got there uh, in a sense of that, well, pretty much you're going to be quite happy of how things are developing in terms of your career. Uh, the cards are pointing that you shouldn't, you should not stop there, but instead <clears throat> cash in on those kind of like, they, they are not going to be even surprising, but more like unexpected. Um, events that are lurking behind every corner, uh, in a in a sense of that there will be here and there, you know, a, a movement or rather like stirs into a development, small ones, but nonetheless a, a good ones. Uh, the good thing about that particular stance is uh, that it, it doesn't look that you can over invest. So that being said whatever undertaking you are to uh, to start throughout the week or whatever approach you are to make throughout the week in terms of career, uh, you Pisces will be able to always kind of like um, take on the right measures or the appropriate measures in regards to the uh, endeavor. So at the end, you don't feel like you have robbed yourself of something or that you have overkilled uh, the, uh, the situation. <clears throat> Now that's on the plus side. Um, on the negative side uh, is that your additional devotion here or additional uh, initiative that you may have taken throughout the week, it will be, ta it will be taken for granted, meaning that, uh, for example, your supervisor or your boss may not feel the necessity to pay you off additionally for the additional job that you have done. And that will only happen if you do not raise the matter in front of that specific individual, okay? So if you do keep your mouth shut about it and you do expect that they will oblige on the professional courtesy, so they pay you more for your, once again, a additional performances. Now that is not gonna happen. So pretty much by the end of the week, you gotta stand for yourself if you will, and bring up the uh, the state or the situation that you actually gave more than you are expected to, and that pretty much deserves a reward, right? But if you don't stand up and bring it to the table, then, you know, the table will be left without it, and so you are going to be left wasted. Um, oh, but nonetheless, the bottom line of your career here, once again, I'm going to repeat it, it is that while it may feel like you shouldn't, how can I say, while it may feel that you should settle this week and do just what it is expected from you to do, there will be more things on that matter that are going to be rewarded should you speak about it. So you shouldn't kind of like slack, that's my point. Now, those who are looking for a um, for a job, they have to be very careful throughout the week, as it's very possible that 
they're gonna find a suitable option available in front of them in a term of a valid, a valid job or eligible job but um, I, it's, uh, it may be more behind the curtain than they are actually uh, seeing in the paperwork or in the presentation of the job itself and uh, if they blindly jump into it they may pretty much kind of like undersell themselves so at the end you shouldn't settle for less of what you think you deserve so that was about your career now let's have a look what kind of a relationship uh, you're going to or what kind of experiences in experiences in terms of a relationship you are to have in the upcoming week Right, so the first one is going to be the Queen of Wands, followed by the Two of Pentacles, uh, the Two of Cups, I'm sorry. Moving next, that will be the uh, Page of uh, Wands. And the last one, uh, that will be the Knight of Wands. So it's quite of a um, dynamic type of week in terms of relationships. Now, that, that especially for uh, the people which aren't having any interest whatsoever at that point and they're not in a relationship at all uh it's uh, pretty much the cards are pointing that these uh you as an individual being single it turns out that you are to be quite attractive throughout the week for one or another reason maybe you are going to i don't know off the top of my head okay adopt new behavior buy yourself a new really nice and cozy coats uh, or attires that are pretty much gonna make you stand out and so on and so forth so uh, the, the point here is that in some in some ways you're gonna make yourself way more attractive throughout the week the things you say also are gonna be more appealing and so on and so on and so forth now big role into that plays the uh, understanding that you're going to have into the human nature or in other words uh, what are the weaknesses and the strengths of a certain individual and therefore knowing their weaknesses you are not you're going to know how to act so you become one of those weaknesses right uh, uh, so that being uh, said, unlikely it is that you are going to fall in love though throughout the week. That is pretty much well described here by the two of cups into the second position. And as well, there is one more problem here, especially for those which are single. While you may be very attractive, people that are attracted to you, they may not have the guts to approach you. Or it's highly likely that they are not going to have the guts to approach you. Um, the first thing that comes on the top of my head why that may be the case it is because they are not going to be only the one that it is attracted to you and so it's a competition and so they may think that you know they don't have they don't stand a chance to that uh, to that particular competition but um, suffice to say here you have the luxury to choose unfortunately if you are a woman uh, you have to make the first step okay you gotta make the uh, the approach or to break the, to break up the ice here and i say if you are a woman is because women for as much as my experience goes they are not used to make the first step it is just within the mindset that always the man should make the first step um, but we are equals uh in the era we live in i mean we are accepted as equals we have equal rights therefore we have to we should have equal responsibilities right but anyway but anyway i digress i'm sorry about that guys there is a uh, a child outside so um Nonetheless, the cards, I don't know if you are up to it, guys, but the cards are very good for those who are looking for one night stand or uh, uh, friends with benefits type of relationships. Now, you are not going to have any problem whatsoever to accomplish those kind of uh, those kind of uh, interactions. Now, for serious type of relationships, once again, by a long shot here, uh, it is because the, the 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 person that poses interest to you and that you are posing interest to them are going to be rather quite uncertain that they can be somebody 
around you for a reason being is that they may think that they don't deserve you. Now, those that are in a relationship, however, uh, the cards are rather quite good in a sense of that you can have your week very enterprising and rather quite dappled with new activities that are going to re reignite a passion in between you two should that is something you do lack. Oh my God, I'm sorry, guys. If that is something that you should like, just give me a second. So, uh, however, not all of those uh, activities are going to be to of your liking or of your liking of, uh, of the partner that you are with. And uh, with that being said, um, it's very important by the end of the week that you do classify those activities that you both like and find a way, you know, to, to, to kind of like reach a common ground with those. That will play a big role moving forward into the excitement of the relationship. So right now, throughout the week, you, you, you need to look at this this uh, this reading or rather like this week as a week where you are to restart the excitement and the passion that is going on in there not at all cause though so be open to make a compromise with certain enterprises and with certain endeavors and so your partner needs to be open to make compromises for them um and it's important to talk in between each other because like I said see still shyness and fear of uh, being disclaimed it will be there so that being said, honesty should be uh, the most valuable courtesy in between you two. So that being said, this was your weekly uh, weekly reading. Um, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you do enjoyed it and uh, you do liked it. And uh, we are going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.